In the southwest section of Alabama, a town called Carrollton holds a strange phenomena. It goes like this. There's been a mini story told to me in the past About the ghost of Henry Wells or the face up in the glass The place is Alabama and Carrollton is the town They say in 1876 he burned the courthouse down The Civil War was over, reconstruction had begun but for this fella, Henry Wells, the battle wasn't won. A crime of burning down a courthouse, he had others on his hands. They say he robbed, he raped, he killed, he was a desperate wanted man. They caught him two years later, the year of 1878. They brought him back all shot up from trying to make escape. They brought him back to Carrollton and they put him there in jail. For him he knew there was no hope, no one to go his bail. He swore up to the very last he was an innocent man. If I hang for crimes I didn't do, the God would play his hand. I'm here to say my dying day, you men and all your wives. My face will be before you in this town the rest of your life. They hid him in the attic so that he could not be found. As an angry mob of people gathered fiercely on the ground. As Henry looked out of the window at the mad mob on the street. With a fear of death approaching his fate he soon would meet. The time was early evening and the skies they turned so black It started into raining and the lightning flashed so bright A stroke of lightning hit the glass where Henry stood so lame It left the image of his face embedded in the pain It's been a hundred years now but the face is still the same it's been even scrubbed with acid, but the face is still the same. Some folks say they've took the glass out and put another one in. And it's still the same as it was before it comes right back again. They say seeing is believing, so I went not long ago. I listened as Judge Harris told the legend days of old. As he told the story of Henry Wells, his eyes, they fill with tears. No one can explain the face up there, but it's been here 100 years.